Hi everyone, it's Ian Maddy from Mountain Lakes Public Library Makerspace. And today I wanted to review a cool feature in Tinkercad uh, using the import SVG functionality. Uh, I learned about this by just exploring in Tinkercad and making a mistake. And as many mistakes are, it was a happy mistake. So I go to my favorite icon uh, site, The Noun Project, uh, thenounproject.com. I like this whale, so I want to print this whale out. So how do I do that? First, I need to download the SVG version. So I download the SVG version, and then I'm going to go back to Tinkercad, and we are going to import. We choose a file, and uh, Tinkercad can only import SVGs, and STL files, uh, they can't import images. So we're gonna import this vector image. I'm gonna click on open. You see the picture of what you're importing? I'm gonna click on import. And there we go. We're a little slow this morning. That's okay. All right. I'm going to change the color just, and you'll see why in a second. So here we go. Here's our whale. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. You see over here, it says quality. So we're just going to zoom all the way up our quality to 24. It seems to do a better job. I'm not 100% sure what the quality does, but it does seem to make it better. Now, the next part is we have our whale, but if we 3D print it like, 3D print it like this, it's all going to fall apart and it doesn't really look like a whale right now. So what do we do? We do a little, uh, have a technique here. So we've got to duplicate and repeat. And now we have two whales and I'm gonna just show you that we have a couple whales there and I'm gonna go back. And now I'm gonna make this one yellow and we'll see why in a second. And now we're gonna change this to silhouette. So now we have a whale that is yellow in silhouette. There we go, and that's what I was waiting for. I think Tinkercad is just really slow today, or my computer is. All right, so this was the original one, and we can see I just made a really giant over here, but I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna drag my ruler over here. Ruler is very important. I'm gonna make this eight millimeters high. And now I'm gonna click on my silhouette, and I'm gonna make my silhouette just four millimeters high. And now you see that with the silhouette behind the original design, we have what looks like a really cool whale. Now, in the past, people might say, well, I want to be able to take this original whale uh, design and put a plate against it. And you might say, well, how do I make a nice shape behind it? And you would be stuck with something like a cube or something like a cylinder or another funky shape that doesn't really fit it well. So now with this little um, duplicate technique and using the silhouette, you can take any unique shape you get from the noun, uh, noun project icons and create a really cool background for your unique shape. So the reason why I did, uh, I want to show you yellow and orange. You can see this flickering over here. You know that the flickering means that uh, the color is flickering, that you are on the same exact um, line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag. I'm going to duplicate. I mean, I'm sorry, not duplicate. I'm going to group. And now I'm going to have one object. It's still red, so it's rendering. Things are very slow today. That's OK. It's rendering, and now we can move it as one object, and we could put a, a hole in it, make it a keychain, give me a uh, bookmark, whatever you want. Have a great day.